We have here another fun yet still somewhat useful duel. 30 boom rats versus 10 pirates. And these pirates are all randomly generated. The stuff they start with, their skills, all random. Their health elements, all that jazz. This is exactly as you would find them if they spawned in a couple of them already taking shots, which is a bit cheaty while well, he's starting to aim. But, uh, oh well, not, not a whole lot I can do about that. I thought I started them far enough away that it wouldn't be an issue, but clearly not. It's a bit of a small attack though, really. I'd say by the time you get 30 boom rats, you'd be fighting something a little more significant. But I figured this would be a decent enough starting spot. And then we'll play around with boom lopes a little bit just to see, but... We'll go over this for a few rounds, best 3 out of 5 as per usual. And see what happens here. So we will initiate, then release. That seems to work a lot better. And looks like they're all just beelining for the exact same guy, which is a bit strange. Not looking very good for the boom rats. And that's all of them. That is a win for the pirates. Unless one of them like burns up and they decide to retreat for some reason, but no, nah, it looks like looks like that's us. Round one to the pirates. Round two, hopefully this is a little more interesting. It's a bit of a shame. There we go, it's a much better spread. I'm gonna say it's a bit of a shame last time they all just beelined as one line toward the same guy. This is looking a little more promising though. But will it be enough? I don't know. And they're flaying. Okay. Well, the boom rats did their job. They diverted the attack. They didn't technically win. Well, I guess that's a win. Yeah, I suppose flaying is a win. That counts. I'll count it. One to one. I just figure if you're being attacked, the goal isn't necessarily that they go to clump up again. Kind of annoying how they do that. I figure if you're being attacked, the goal isn't to kill them all, it's just to divert the attack. And sometimes that includes killing them all, but I suppose if you make them flee, that's still a win and the boom rats do their job, so... All will allow it. The boom rats setting each other on fire because they clump together is becoming a significant issue. But they did enough damage. They are fleeing and we have four boom rats left over. I guess really the question here is, are boom rats practical as a weapon? Can you actually get enough of them to forge sort of an army? Wow, they've missed all of their shots. This is going to go horribly for the pirates. I mean, I'm kind of curious, how many of you have actually been able to raise a small boom rat army? I mean, this is 30 boom rats, which is pretty significant. I mean, the, the benefit is it's sort of an exponential growth type thing. I mean, the more you have, the more quickly they grow. And actually, the pirates won that one. I'm... Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know who won that. I'd like to say the pirates won, but... I mean, the pirates are retreating just after they had won, so technically the attack was still diverted. Your county would still be safe. Uh, I'll call it a tie. We'll call it a tie. How about a tie? Tie sounds good. It just seems that, in my opinion, I usually only ever have like six to seven or something that I could actually use as an army. And by the time I'd have this many, we'd have so much wealth, we'd be going up against something pretty terrifying. Not just 10 guys with basic weapons. But, oh man, a lot of deaths just then. Oofed. <laughs> but, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone out there's done it. Is this, uh, is this another decisive win? Let a few seconds pass. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that is a, that is a win for the pirates. So, it is... 2-2? Two, two? I think it's 2-2, two, two, last one being a tie. I think this is the last round, but honestly, I lost count a little bit. Why are they going for Pete? I don't get that. Their pathfinding is very strange. The way they just clump together, I mean, as soon as one of the guys in the giant clump gets hit like that, 
I mean, right now is the pirate's time to shine. Because the boom rats are basically able to do nothing while they're running on fire trying to extinguish themselves. And flame. I'll... Oh, God. I mean, I guess that's another tie. I mean, that's again a situation where they retreated just a couple seconds after killing all the boom rats, so... I mean, your colony is still safe. No issue there. Call that one a tie too? I mean, it's... Oh, God, it's so situational. I can't quite see a colony legitimately having enough boom rats to make it a decisive victory every time, so... I'm not really sure what to take away from this. If nothing else, it's fairly interesting to watch, I hope. I mean, I feel like a lot of these are going to be just something that's it's kind of fun and interesting to watch, more so than actually informative. Fling and we still have a boom rat left. Paris is still up, so that is I'd say I'd say that's a win for the boom rats. I'd say if you have 30 boom rats, you can pretty confidently take on 10 pirates in an open field without much of worry. If the pirates do win, they're so battered and bruised that they really they won't last for much longer. But I think I'll chalk this one up to just another fun yet interesting one to watch. Not really that informative. Although let's be honest, having a shitload of tortoises against a single uh, thrombo, not really that informative either. That's the first one I did. So I think these are more just for fun than actually being informative, but that's okay. As long as you guys are enjoying them, I'll enjoy making them. Thanks again for all the suggestions and comments, both on videos and in Reddit for the ideals. Uh, quite a lot of them are quite good, and I'm looking forward to a good few of them. Interested to see what uh, what else we can come up with.